Our thoughts control our actions. Well, there's no question about it. No, our thoughts we control, control our feelings. Okay. Our feelings control our actions. All right. And we control our thoughts. Absolutely. Or, or we can control we our can thoughts. We can control our thoughts, okay. yes. Generally, though, one of, our, uh, one of our, our difficulties, one of our problems maybe, is that we tend to react to, to, to what oh, other do. people tell us, and, and, and we consequently get the negative thoughts, and then that affects our feelings, and then that affects our behavior. That's right. That's exactly the way it is. We read the newspaper. Doom and gloom's coming. Mm -hmm. We just accept it. Doom and gloom doesn't have to be coming. Do you know there's always been a depression for some people? I grew up with the idea that everybody went broke in the 30s. They didn't. Some made millions. I thought everybody went out of business. They didn't. Some people went into business. There's always a depression for some people, and there's always good times for others. Let's ask ourselves when we read something in the paper, do I want to get emotionally involved in that idea? If it's a negative idea, I don't want to get emotionally involved with it. I don't read the paper that often. I do, but not, I don't dwell on it. You, you don't get emotionally involved in no. it when you see other When an idea comes into your mind, whether somebody else tells you or whether you read it in the paper, we should reason with it. Ask ourselves, will that idea help me get to where I want to go? If it won't, reject the idea. If you want another amazing young Bob Proctor video, check it out right there next to me. I think you'll love it. Continue to believe, and I'll see you there. I'd have a difficult time really uh, explaining attitude right just in a conversation. I use a board in the seminar, and uh, well, I did a, a, an attitude seminar last night. We spent three hours.